hypertension high blood pressure meaning persistent elevated blood pressure a silent but critical health concern it is increased force of blood against artery walls it risk factor for heart disease and stroke hypotension which is known as low blood pressure meaning abnormally low blood pressure leading to potential circulation issues it is blood pressure lower than normal may cause dizziness and fainting atherosclerosis meaning hardening and narrowing of arteries due to cholesterol plaque accumulation it is build up of fatty deposits in arteries which reduces blood flow leading to potential heart issues next term is myocardial infarction heart attack meaning sudden interruption of blood supply to the heart causing tissue damage it is blockage in coronary arteries that results in damage to heart muscle next term dear friends you are attending the 50 most important medical terms that often used in medical practice and also many questions were asked based on this topic and i'm sure that they will be asked again in upcoming exams so please watch this video till end to make yourself more fit for upcoming exams or practice and if you find this video helpful then please do like subscribe and share our channel so let's continue arrhythmia meaning disruption in the normal heart rhythm affecting its pumping function it is irregular heart rhythm can cause palpitations and fainting next term is mellitus meaning metabolic disorder characterized by elevated blood glucose levels it is chronic high blood sugar levels there is type 1 and type 2 variants next term is hyperthyroidism meaning excessive thyroid hormone production accelerating body functions it is overactive thyroid gland symptoms includes weight loss and rapid heartbeat next term is hypothyroidism meaning insufficient thyroid hormone production slowing down body functions it is underactive thyroid gland it causes fainting and weight gain next term is copd which is known as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease meaning chronic respiratory condition limiting air flow in the lungs it is progressive lung disease often from smoking its symptoms include cough and shortness of breath next term is asthma meaning recurrent episodes of reversible airway obstruction and inflammation it is chronic respiratory condition that marked by airway inflammation and constriction next term pneumonia meaning inflammation of the lung tissue due to infectious agents it is lung infection causing cough and difficulty in breathing it is due to bacterial viral and fungus causes next term is bronchitis meaning irritation and swelling of the air passages leading to the lungs it is inflammation of bronchial tubes results in cough and mucus production next term is gastritis meaning inflammation of the stomach lining often from irritation or infection uh, it is an inflammation of stomach lining that causes abdominal pain and discomfort next term is gastroenteritis meaning inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract causing digestive upset it is an inflammation of stomach and intestines 
often due to infections. Next term is hepatitis, meaning inflammation of the liver, often viral in origin. It is an inflammation of the liver. Viral hepatitis A, B, C, and other causes. Next term, nephritis, meaning inflammation of the kidneys impacting their ability to filter blood. It is an inflammation of the kidneys that affects filtration function. That, that affects filtration function of the kidney. Next term is cirrhosis meaning progressive liver damage with the development of scar tissue. It is a chronic liver disease with scarring. It's caused by alcohol, hepatitis or other factors. Next term is cholecystitis meaning inflammation of the gall bladder frequently associated with the gall stones. It is an inflammation of the gall bladder often due to gall stones next term is osteoarthritis meaning wear and tear arthritis affecting joints and causing pain it is degenerative joint disease that results in pain and stiffness next term rheumatoid arthritis meaning chronic inflammatory arthritis impacting joint structure. It is an autoimmune disorder affecting the joints. It causes inflammation and joint damage. Next term is osteoporosis, meaning bone density loss, making bones porous and fragile. It is a weak and brittle bones. It is linked to hormonal changes and aging. So friends, it's the time to comment your score. So comment below your score that you done correctly. And if the video was helpful, then please do like, subscribe and share this video to everyone who are preparing for upcoming exams. So dear friends, it's the time to comment your score out of 20. So let us see what is your score out of 20. Please comment your score. And if the video was helpful, then please comment your view on this video. And do support us by liking and subscribing and sharing our channel, our videos. So thank you so much for watching and wish you good luck for your upcoming exams.